Hey, y'all. This is Mr. Heyer. I um, hope you're weathering the tropical storm today. Um, so I thought we would just uh, do what we were going to do, which was to take a few notes. It's not going to take long. Um, and then you can practice a couple of problems. And then um, on Friday, tomorrow, when we get back, um, we're going to practice some more of those problems. Y'all can ask questions about this. And we're going to do a quick learning check. Um, the learning check will be on what we do today. This should be really easy. Right, I'm going to give you all three chances on this learning check, and you know, and you'll have all weekend to work on it. Uh, but you should be able to do it in class on Friday. All right, so let's uh, just go through this real fast. As I just said, this should not take really long. This first stuff on work and power is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. All right, so work and power. So what is work? Okay, so work is a transfer of energy that occurs when a force is applied over a distance. So you have to have both the force applied and it actually has to move. The force exerted must be in the same direction that the object actually moves. All right. So um, if they're perpendicular, the work isn't done. So if, if an object is moving this way while I'm pushing down on it, me pushing down on it is not doing any work. Me pushing it to the right is doing some work. Though. All right, so an example, lifting a box vertically as opposed to carrying a box. All right, um, when you lift a box vertically, you're lifting upwards, and the box is moving upwards, so you're doing work. All right, so our equation for work is force times distance. All right, very, very simple, very, very straightforward. So just the, it's, the, it's the product of the force times the distance. Our unit would be a Newton meter, which we call a joule and y'all should remember that using joules in chemistry last year All right and again no no motion no work done all right so box of books has 180 newtons of weight how much work do you do if you lift the box half a meter all right so we know work equals fd all right the force is 180 newtons Right, because if it weighs 180 newtons, if you have to lift it, you're going to apply 180 newtons. So work equals 180 times the distance, which is 0.5, and that's going to be 90 joules of work. All right, if you lift it more, you're going to do more work. If you lift something heavier, you're going to do more work. All right, here's a couple other examples. Crate has a mass of 50 kilograms. Crane does 12,000 joules of work lifting it straight up. How far upwards does the crane move? So we're looking for D, right? We know that work equals F times D, right? We know the work is 12,000 joules, right? But what's the force, right? You're given the mass, right? So if you're going to, if the crate, if the crane is going to lift up the crate, it's going to have to pull with a force of at least equal to its weight, right? So the force here is going to equal to Fw, which is m times g. So it's going to be 50 times 9.8. In the last problem, let me back up. In the last problem, you were given the weight. Here, you're given the mass. So it's a little bit different. So 50 times 9.8 is 490. Newtons, so the work is going to be 490 times the distance, which we don't know. Whoops, let's do that over again. Sorry. Yeah, let's erase that. All right, because we know what the work is. The work is, so we're going to come over here. We know the work is 12,000. That's going to be equal to 490 times D. And we divide both sides by 490, which gives me a D of 12,000 divided by 490 of 24.5 meters. Okay. Very straightforward, just solving for it. Just remember if you're given the mass, then if we're lifting it, we're gonna have to multiply that by 9.8 to get the weight. All right, here's one, a tow truck does 21,000 joules of work while pulling a car for 30 meters. Okay, now a tow truck is going to be moving something horizontally, so we're not worrying about the weight here. 
All right, so again, W equals F times D. 21,000 equals F times 30. Solve for F. Divide both sides by 30. And that's 700 newtons of force. All right, so the last thing we're going to talk about, told you this was going to be short. The last thing we're going to talk about is power. Right? Power is related to work in that it's how fast the work is done. Right? It doesn't matter. If you climb a flight of stairs, it doesn't matter if it takes you 20 minutes, it takes you two minutes, two seconds, or two days to climb that um, flight of stairs. Right? The, same, the amount of work that you do is the same. What's different is the power. How quickly do you do that work? If you work faster, take less time, there's more power. All right, so our equation for power is generally work divided by time. But since work is also F times D, we can also write it F times D over time. The units are watts. It's joule per second, and we give it a new name for the watts. It's the same thing what you see on a light bulb. A 100-watt light bulb use, um, does 100 joules of electrical work every second. It transfers 100 joules of electrical energy every second. Right? And a lot of times we measure a power in kilowatts, just depending on what we have. All right, so now I want you all to look at the practice problems. There's um, several of them, about eight or nine, I think. Um, try to do as many of them as you can. I'm going to post the key to it on Friday. All right, um, we're going to spend some more time on Friday working on them. You can ask questions digital if you're online. Um, come, you know, go Zoom with me. Um, and if you're in class, you can come just talk with me. We'll, and we'll work through some of those problems together if you need to. And then there's a learning. There will be a learning check on Friday um, that you can start. Three submissions. Um, I think it's eight questions dealing with work and power. Um, and we should be able to go from there. All right, but let's before we actually stop, let's go ahead and look at a couple of power questions. I forgot about that. That's okay, though. All right, let's do the power questions, and then uh, we'll call it a day. So an electric motor lifts an eight, a nine meter, lifts an elevator nine meters in 15 seconds. If the elevator has a mass of 1,500 kilograms, or 1,200 kilograms, sorry, how much power does the motor exert? All right, so we said power was equal to work divided by time, right, or force times distance over time. Okay. So the force here is going to be the weight, which is going to be mg, 1,200 times 9.8, or 11,600, or 11,000, try that again, 11,760 joules. So we can say the force is 11,760 times the D, which is 9 meters, over 15 seconds. And we just multiply that together. 9 divided by 15, we get 7,056 watts. What would the power be if it took 30 seconds? All right. Well, it would be twice as long. So we would just take the top number. We'd do 11760 times 9, and divide by 30 instead. Right? Basically, we're doubling what's in the bottom, so we should cut this in half, right? And that would give us 3,528 watts. All right, so the problems are very, should be very straightforward. Practice them, and at some point, uh, you should be very comfortable with them, and you should do really well on this learning check.